Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, I know this year has been tough for you, but you did not quit as my grace has brought you through the toughest of trials. Yes, you have had victories, but you've also had hurdles, but you persevered in faith, believing to see each hurdle overcome my child. I know the enemy has tried whispering at every possible opportunity, day after day, week after week, month after month, telling you that your breakthrough would never come. But as you continue to focus on me, trusting in me, by rebuking the enemy's lies each day, You will see, even now, the continued victories that you are hoping for, my child. Remember, my child, your life is not over, as you are not a failure. They are the lies from the pit of hell. There's still time for me to fulfill my plans and purpose for you, even before this year finishes. But I will carry you through the year to come also. For the good work that I have started within you, I will continue until it is finally finished, my child. Therefore, continue to persevere and be patient no matter how difficult things may look or feel. Hold fast to me, my child, and don't give up. But let patience have its perfect work in you. For I will always finish what I have started. And that includes bringing to pass the good plans that I have for you, my child. So whatever the devil may be doing around you today, no matter what he may be planning against you or your loved ones, keep your focus on me, my child, and don't allow him to influence influence you with fear and his other tactics. So you must always remove the influence of this fearful spirit sent by the enemy and connect yourself rather with my Holy Spirit alone that brings peace of your mind and soul for you to walk in the spirit. For you cannot warfare in the spiritual realm if you cannot walk in the spirit, my child. Therefore, call upon me today, for have I not promised that anyone that calls upon my name shall be saved? My word is powerful against the enemy, my child, but it is only as powerful as a two-edged sword when it is spoken from the mouth of my saints in faith. Always strive to live to please me and not the eyes of man. For your help comes from me, your Lord and maker of heaven and earth. Yes, continue to look to me with all your needs as you put me first. I will add unto you everything according to my perfect will. Therefore, today, my child, be at peace knowing that I am with you. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Now, the Lord has given me some words of knowledge, and I believe God wants to bring creative miracles. The reason being is I see someone that has heart trouble, somebody that has a thyroid issue, and there is someone that has a breathing issue with your lungs also. There is someone also that needs healing in the area of the knee, Uh, There's someone that needs healing in the area of hips. There is someone that needs uh, an issue or healing in the area of the eardrum. Now, I believe that God can do creative miracles. Absolutely, I do. And the Bible says, according to James 4.2, it says, You do not have because you do not ask. Have you asked God to give you a creative miracle? There is also somebody that has a limb that is shorter than the other, and God wants that to grow today. There is also somebody with an issue with their teeth, and God is going to bring a creative miracle to that area that you couldn't afford because you don't have the money for that area of the dental area. There is also somebody with an issue with their pigmentation, meaning the area of your skin, there is a different coloration 
in your skin and there is somebody that also has an issue with their skin and God wants to remove that. God wants to bring a creative miracle in that area. Do you know that there was a story in Azusa Street where a particular man came in and the nose of this man was very large. Now, in that meeting, the people went and prayed for that man's nose and it shrunk down to a perfect size. Now, God does care about you, precious saints. He is a creative God. He can give you something new. That's why it's called a creative gift. Does this sound like you today that you want God to do something that's creative? Maybe you've been told by the doctor or many doctors or just your body that this diagnosis is within your life, whatever it is. Perhaps it's gone on so long and you've wanted God to visit you. You've wanted God to move, to bring a creative hero, uh, a miracle to your hips, to your knee, whatever it is that has been announced today. But I want to encourage you today to claim by faith, yet determine that you are going to get the very thing that you ask for. And don't back down. Be patient. Be willing to settle in for a good fight of faith today, that your miracle body part, that your miracle, your creative miracle will start to happen. Now, if your limb is shorter than the other, I want you, and if it's your legs, I want you to sit on a chair. I want you to, to, to put your hands out on your knees and I'm going to command that limb to grow. Now, if, it's, if that is you and your limb on your arms is one is shorter than the other, I want you also to put your hands out straight in front of you and I'm going to command them to grow also in the name of Jesus Christ. But first, I'm going to pray this prayer. Father, I ask right now, that you would release a creative substance right now to reform whatever is missing, whatever needs to grow, whatever needs to be replaced. I ask right now, I ask for heaven to invade that space and begin to materialize from the supernatural to the natural that that element, that organ, whatever is missing, whatever needs to grow and be shaped and be formed, whatever needs to be replaced, whatever body, whatever organ part, whatever issue it is in their body, let it come right now. Let it manifest right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, that pigmentation shall be healed. That tooth issue shall be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it right now. I declare new knees. I declare new hips, new eardrums, new hearts new organs right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to blind eyes to be open right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to any creative thing, any creative area, every, even, even arthritis to leave and be, be given new joints right now, new limbs right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is missing shall grow back, shall grow back in the name of Jesus Christ because we are believing right now that heaven is going to invade that space and begin to materialize from the supernatural to the natural that that element that element that you are waiting to change whatever is missing whatever needs to be replaced on your body let it come let it manifest right now in the name of Jesus Christ come and touch your people come and deliver your people come Come and heal your people today from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Oh God, you will stir up their faith today that they will fight the good fight of faith, that they will believe, that they will ask with faith because many today do not ask and they do not receive because they do not ask. But we are asking for the impossible. We are asking for creative miracles right now to manifest right now supernaturally upon your people right now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Get ready. You're going to hear a lot more about the words repentance revival that is coming to the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. God has shown me. I have seen it coming. It is going to come by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget, we have the seven day crossover fast. Get ready for that because God has told me that in 2024, the glory, the king of glory is about to come. There is revival that is going to take place in 2024. You must, don't just come and contemplate, but come and participate. I want you to write down, that's right, write down all your prayer requests onto a bit of paper. Place it into your Bible. God knows what you need. Place him in there as a reminder to him. He's a covenant keeping God that will meet his covenant promises. If he can create arms and limbs to grow back, if he can even turn a man's nose that was big to small to perfect size for him, then what can God do for you? God can do all things, precious saints. Let's not limit God. The problem is most people, they don't receive because they do not ask. We got to learn to ask God for the impossible and believe it with all of our hearts and be patient and wait for it because God God will manifest in his timing. And I believe that through these prayers, through the fastings, as your faith is being stirred, God is going to do things beyond your understanding, beyond your ability, belong beyond whatever you're hoping for, because he can do exceedingly abundantly more than we ask or what we hope for, precious saints. He is a wonder working God. And I want you to start to stir up your faith and believe God can do the impossible. And I believe he's going to do the impossible. I believe he's already doing it right now. Your limb is already growing back. Your, 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 your skin pigmentation, that coloration issue is being healed right now. Teeth are being healed. There are new joints. There are new organs coming for people right now. You just got to claim it as yours and say, God, I want it today. I want to release that creative substance right now to reform whatever is missing in my life, in my body. And we're going to ask for heaven to invade that space and to begin to materialize from the supernatural to the natural, that element, that organ, whatever is missing on their bodies. Let it come. Let it manifest right now on each person. Yes, even their finances. Open up the store of heaven because my God shall supply for all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Let's stop listening to the devil. Let's start having um, this supernatural faith to believe in the impossible. People don't receive because they don't ask, but we're going to ask, oh Lord, because those that seek you shall find you. Those that knock, the door shall be open because we know the Lord that you'll go going to provide for us according to our needs. So Lord, I pray that you'll bless each person today in Jesus' mighty name. You can also follow us. Now, to make it even easier, I would suggest that you download our Repentance Revival app, which is on Wix. Now, there's a lot of the groups that have already received that. So if you are interested in downloading that app, you can actually read the fasting programs a lot more clearer. And it's actually kind of helpful for you to be able to have it um, there for you so you can go directly uh, to it. Precious saints that you will take the time to spend time with God today. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.